Hello again everyone. I wanted to create a quick video on docking stations and Linux. This is something that is increasing in popularity. I get several comments on my channel every now and then asking me about this kind of thing. And then this evening when I was just chatting in the System76 chat room on Telegram, uh, somebody actually recommended that I make a video and you know what? Why not? Because this subject is just so confusing. I mean, it would be great if it was so easy to just buy a random dock and plug it in, but there's a lot of misunderstandings when it comes to Linux and docking stations. And I wanted to create this video to set the record straight and to have something to point people back to if this question comes up again in the future, which, you know, it definitely will, because like I mentioned, docks are definitely increasing in popularity. Now, before I get to the main content, I want to talk about what the goal actually is. Now right here I have three laptops that I just randomly decided and actually these ones here are going to be good examples of some of the edge cases that you might run into. Now first of all I have the ThinkPad T480S right here and then I have my ThinkPad X1 Extreme and then here I have a System76 Galago Pro. Now these are great machines and there's some differences about them that I think illustrate some of the differences that you might run into when you are choosing a laptop or you already have a laptop and you're choosing the appropriate dock. So as far as the goal is concerned, the goal is basically to have a laptop like this and then have a USB-C dock like this one or maybe a Thunderbolt dock like this one right here and effectively have one cable that you then plug into your laptop so you, you just basically find the correct port you plug it in and if you have the right compatibility then this one cable can provide power to your laptop so it's charging and it can also allow you to connect a display keyboard and mouse effectively allowing you to transform your laptop into a desktop with just one cable now your ability or inability to be able to do that does depend on a few factors which I am going to go over in this video to give you guys some pointers on what generally works and what generally doesn't work. And the reason why I say generally is because of course, you know, it's technology we're dealing with here, there's definitely going to be edge cases. And I have a bunch of stuff here and I'm going to use some of this equipment that I have here on my desk as examples. Now, the easiest thing to go over are these laptop stands. I've had a few people ask me about these and said, what kind of dock is that? And well, it's not really a dock. I have one right here and I have a, a different one right here. All these are our laptop stands. I mean, how cool is this? You just basically slide it in and it looks awesome. Your laptop is upright and then you basically just plug in your docking station, just one cable. And there you go, your laptop looks awesome. It's right by your monitor. It's real easy to undock and dock. You just lift it right out of your dock or your stand and you're good to go. So there's nothing technical at all about these things. They're very, very cool. They're inexpensive. They're just laptop stands. There's nothing special about them. This one right here is just for one single laptop. It looks pretty cool. So I'll just go ahead and put it there, see if I can get this in the frame, and then I'll just slide my laptop in there. And it stands, it looks pretty sweet. So that's one of them. And then the other one is this one right here, which actually allows you to, to uh, have two laptops right here on one dock, which is really cool. And both of these, this one and this one, and probably most if not all of these, will have little screws on the bottom and that allows you to adjust them to accommodate different laptop widths. So if you have a really thick laptop, you'll be able to plug that in as well. And I like the dual one because in my case, I can have two laptops. So I'll have one here and then I'll have one here. So I have two ThinkPads docked. And the reason why I like this is because one could be my work laptop for my day job and the other could be my personal laptop for home. I work from home, so work-life balance is pretty easy. So basically I have, you know, a um, dock plugged in. Let's just say this is my work laptop, so I'm doing my job and everything's cool and then I'm done for work for the day. And then to switch to home mode is simply this, unplug, and then plug in. I mean, it couldn't be easier. That is great. And if you have more than one laptop, one of these stands that allows you to actually have two laptops on it, you know, it actually does. I think it's pretty cool. 
But anyway, that's the easy part. So I got the easy part out of the way. There's nothing technical about a laptop stand. I mean, it'll work with anything because you don't, I mean, there's, there's no electronics here. It's just a stand. So I'm um, putting those aside for now. Let's talk about actually let's uh, actual docking. So I have a couple USB-C docks right here. And then I have this big Thunderbolt dock right here. I think the cable's caught right there. So I want to talk a little bit about the difference and some of the challenges that you might run into. Now I have several different things that you really do need to take into account when you are choosing a dock for your Linux laptop. Now one misconception is that Linux doesn't work well with docks or hardware support is you know hit and miss. Absolutely not true. In fact, USB-C and Thunderbolt docking support is flawless in Linux. And I can't really say that about too many things because you know what what um, constitutes flawless nowadays, I mean there's always an edge case, and there might even be edge cases that I haven't run into, but as of at least Linux kernel 5.x, I don't remember which kernel version it was that had great Thunderbolt and USB-C dock support, but it's built into the kernel. I don't care if you're running Fedora, Arch, Manjaro, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Debian, whatever, it doesn't matter. They all have one thing in common, they have the Linux kernel, and the Linux kernel has built-in support for USB-C and Thunderbolt docks. You don't need to install a driver. Now, when I say you don't need to install a driver, there's one edge case here I know of off the top of my head, and that is Display Link. The best thing you can do is if the word Display Link is on the page of the dock that you're considering buying, do yourself a favor, hit the back button. Get off that page. Because, you know, I'm gonna be very blunt, Display Link is garbage. Just, just you know, don't even consider it. Just consider it like the worst possible scenario. Yes, it can work. I have gotten it to work, but I've always had a bad experience from Display Link docks. They do require a special driver, and they don't make that driver available for all Linux distributions. What you want is a USB-C or Thunderbolt dock that is completely agnostic to the Linux distribution you are running because it should use the built-in support of the Linux kernel. And if it says Display Link, stay away from it. You don't want that one. There's way too many docs out there to consider. Display Link is definitely not something to consider. So with that out of the way, you know, you get the idea. No Display Link. Display Link equals bad. Stay away. Um, you know, I just want to make that especially clear, but a lot of docs actually work out of the box. In fact, most do. I have a big circle of friends and co-workers and things, and we all have USB-C docs. Even people that have MacBooks have USB-C docs, and I'll often just say, hey, can I borrow that? And I'll, I'll have them hand it over, and I'll plug it into my machine on Linux to see if it works, and it generally does. I don't really run into Display Link very often. But you know the ability or inability for your docking station to work on Linux actually doesn't depend on Linux at all because like I said, support for USB-C and Thunderbolt docks are built into the kernel. So it, it works. Linux, perfect, fine, done. Video over, we're all set. Actually, the problem is, and why some people think that this doesn't work well, is because there is really no firm standard when it comes to USB-C and Thunderbolt docks. There's all kinds of differences from one laptop to another. It's confusing and annoying. So in no particular order, I'm going to talk about some of the edge cases that I've run into, which are probably some edge cases that you might run into. Now, first of all, and this is probably the most important, just because your laptop has a USB-C port and maybe even a Thunderbolt port, that does not mean it's going to work with a USB-C or Thunderbolt dock. I want to make that clear because it all depends on how the laptop was designed. Did the manufacturer design it in such a way that display is able to be sent over USB-C? Now you might think USB-C is a standard and they're all the same. All laptops follow the spec. I mean, if we were in a perfect world, that would be true, but we don't live in a perfect world and that's not true. No two laptops are the same. 
Just because you have a USB-C port does not mean that display can be sent over that port. It depends on the motherboard and how that was designed. It's not the same from laptop to laptop. You do have to research that. And this has nothing to do with Linux. I don't care if you are running you know, Windows or something like that. It's a Windows laptop, you think that it's going to work, it still might not because it has nothing to do with Linux at this point. If the hardware doesn't send display over USB-C, it will not work. So you really do need to investigate that before you buy anything. I have run into several laptops, I don't remember the model numbers off the top of my head, that do have USB-C and you cannot get display to work over that. It just won't happen. Can you get you know, USB peripherals to work? Absolutely, probably even ethernet, but not display because that's just how they designed it. The people who manufactured that device, that laptop, they just made the decision that you, the consumer, you don't need to run display over USB-C. They made that choice for you. You can't do it, sorry, but unfortunately, that's just how it goes. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that you might have multiple USB-C or Thunderbolt ports, and Thunderbolt uses USB-C ports. Now, the thing is, there might be one specific port that has display set up on it, or maybe only one of the ports supports Thunderbolt. And that's when I get into these laptops right here. These are edge cases. So I'm going to use this ThinkPad T480S as an example. On this side right here, now I'm gonna overlay some footage so you can actually see it more clearly. There's two USB-C ports on this laptop. Now, if you had this laptop and looked at it and were under the impression that there was only one USB-C port, you'd be forgiven because, you know, I thought the same thing. I look at this, I see a docking connector because there is a proprietary docking connector that Lenovo does ship and there is one on this. There's also a USB-C port. I thought there was only a USB-C port and actually there's two. And I didn't even know that. I didn't even realize that because what I realized after two days of fighting over my USB-C dock and just really trying to get the darn thing to work, I realized that actually, it actually is a Thunderbolt dock, excuse me, that the docking connector right here actually has a, you know, another USB-C port hidden inside it. You wouldn't even know unless you were really looking for it. And what I've realized on this model right here is that if you want to use a Thunderbolt dock, it has to go in the USB-C port that has Thunderbolt. It's not always the case that just because you have multiple USB-C ports and the label on the box of your laptop says Thunderbolt, that doesn't mean that every USB-C port supports Thunderbolt. Now on the T480S, I can put a USB-C dock on either one of those two USB-C ports and display works just fine. But this one right here, this is a ThinkPad branded dock. It doesn't even use the proprietary Lenovo connector. It uses a USB-C or Thunderbolt cable, which, you know, goes into, it fits into either one of those ports, but it only works on the Thunderbolt port because this is a Thunderbolt dock. Just keep that in mind. And then obviously we have these two USB-C docks right here. They're generic. I mean, right here I have the Kingston Nucleum, which is what this one is. It's a decent one. Then I have this one, which I'm not even going to uh, try to pronounce that one, um, the manufacturer's name or whatever, but you know, they're all different. I mean, this one doesn't have ethernet. Actually, no, this one does have ethernet. The Kingston Nucleum, I like this one because it doesn't run really hot but it also doesn't have ethernet, so you know that's kind of a drag. So not all USB-C docks are created equal, but speaking of not being created equal, another edge case to go over, and that is power delivery. Now ideally, the best convenience comes from being able to plug in one cable to your laptop, and again, that charges your laptop. It provides keyboard and mouse, because you can plug in USB components into it. It provides display. It's one dock, one cable, plug it in. It's a desktop, great, it works, and that's awesome. But what I realize is that not all laptops support power delivery over USB-C. And that's a big one because, you know, the Galago Pro that I have, I have, uh, it's right here at the very bottom. You know, this guy actually has a USB-C port on it. And in my case, this one works great with display. So display works just fine. Everything works fine. 
but it does not have power delivery. The newer model, the one that they just came out, looks exactly the same as this one. I did review it. That one does support power delivery over USB-C. So if you were to buy a Galago Pro laptop right now, you could definitely have one cable that would do all those things, no problem. But it's there's just no consistency here because you could buy a laptop with Thunderbolt and you're not going to know unless it's labeled on the laptop which of the USB-C ports have Thunderbolt. Maybe they all do. Maybe only one of them does. And maybe even only one of them supports power delivery. I mean, you don't know, right? I mean, probably all of them would support power delivery if power delivery is an option. But there's just no consistency here. There's no specification that says a Thunderbolt laptop, you know, it must support power delivery. It must support sending display over USB-C. You just don't know these types of things. And none of this that I just mentioned has anything to do with Linux. Again, even if you're running Windows, you're gonna run into the same problem because it's a hardware issue. If it doesn't send power delivery, or I mean, excuse me, if it doesn't send display over USB-C, or if it doesn't have power delivery, I mean, Windows isn't gonna make that work. It's just not present in the hardware. There's nothing you can do about it. So unfortunately, that puts a lot on the consumer, you, to research this first and find out what your laptop supports and understand what to buy. Again, avoid Display Link. Make sure it doesn't have Display Link. Display Link is evil. Stay away from it. Even if you do get it working, the performance is completely terrible. You don't want it. And even if you follow that rule, you still might not have a good experience just because there's no standardization here. You just want to be careful. Now, um, this uh, dock right here, this Thunderbolt dock from Lenovo, this one is really good. I mean, it has a Ethernet port, has a bunch of USB, uh, actually USB-A ports, you know, standard USB 3. It has display ports, actually two of them, HDMI. This one is awesome. It's also very expensive too. I mean, you'd be forgiven for going cross-eyed if you look up the price of this thing. I mean, it can go up to $300. And I actually bought this one on eBay for a much more or much less price than that because I, you know, just bought it used. But what I like about this one is it can keep up with charging the laptop. And that actually gets me to the ThinkPad, the you know, the ThinkPad X1 Extreme. You know, why did I bring this one out? Well, the reason why is because this laptop right here has a, you know, a really good video card on it. And because it has a really good video card, these USB-C docks aren't going to provide enough power to charge it. And that's another edge case. You have to look into how much power these you know, USB-C docks are able to provide to the laptop. It might not be enough to charge it. It might just slow down how much it's discharging and not provide enough power to keep it charged. That's yet another thing to look into. But if you have an X1 Extreme, you know, this one's great because, you know, it does provide enough power to keep that laptop charged, and it's the only one I've found that does. Now, this works great with the T480S, and obviously the X1 Extreme, and it works actually on everything I've thrown at it. I, all the laptops that I own that have Thunderbolt capability, this does work. And that's, that's great because we want something that's universal. It doesn't require a driver, none of these do. I'm going to have some links in the description below that you can click on if you want to support the channel and order one of these things. But, you know, basically back on topic, the point is just to let you guys know what types of things you might run into. I would love to tell you that, you know, Thunderbolt and USB-C docks is a spec and they're all the same. It's just not, you have to, Make sure you research and check the return policy. Don't buy something if the return policy is that you can't get your money back or there, there's a restocking fee. You wanna make sure that you are able to return it if it doesn't work, that's extremely important because even if you've done your research, maybe you got something wrong and you find out that it doesn't work for you, then you really do need to be able to get your money back. You don't wanna be you know, in the hole financially just because you decided to experiment with these docking stations. Now, all that being said, I don't mean to scare you away from docking stations because, you know, at this point, you're probably thinking, well, this is just too much trouble. I mean, you know, all these different things I have to take into account when I'm deciding which to buy. I get it. It's frustrating. It's overwhelming. But believe me, it's absolutely worth it because you can have one device, just one cable that does all the things, you know, like I mentioned, power delivery, Ethernet, 
display, keyboard, mouse, flash drives, external hard drives, whatever, and all of those things be connected to your computer with one cable. That's an amazing thing to have, and it really makes using your computer simple, and then your laptop can double as basically a desktop, which at the end of the day, I think that's the point. Now there's one type of dock that I didn't cover in this video, and that is a GPU dock, which is even cooler because those have a video card. There's some that have a video card built in that gives your laptop the capability of, you know, basically better 3D rendering on a laptop that normally wouldn't handle that very well. And then there's some GPU docks or basically external GPU docks that essentially allow you to install a desktop gaming card and then you can offload 3D performance to that. Those do work in Linux, but I'm not talking about those in this video because that's a whole nother animal. I do have a GPU dock. I will be creating a video about it. I have more research to do before I can create that video, but um, there is some more additional challenge with how to direct the 3D rendering to that device rather than you know the internal GPU that I'm just not able to cover in this video. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. I mean, I know that's a lot, a lot of things to research, but generally speaking, number one, avoid display link. Number two, make sure your laptop supports power delivery over USB-C. Even if it doesn't, a USB-C dock can still be good. It just means you have to have another cable plugged in to charge your computer. That's not a big deal. But you, if you want that kind of thing, you have to make sure your laptop does support power delivery over that. And if you want to utilize displays over USB-C, you do need to make sure that your laptop actually supports sending display over USB-C. And as long as it does, and you have a you know more generic non-display link device, which let's face it, I think most of them are not display link at this point, you should have a really good experience with this. And one last thing I want to mention, and this is something that I've run into, if you're searching the internet for how to's and guides on how to use docking stations on Linux, and the article mentions to disable Thunderbolt security, click the back button. Don't read that article, unsubscribe from that person's blog, you should never be advised to lower the security of your laptop for any reason at all. All of my laptops, I leave the Thunderbolt security on. I don't have any issues whatsoever. So if somebody tells you that you need to disable your security on the Thunderbolt, do not do it. Now it might have been true a, a long time ago that you did need to do that in older versions of the Linux kernel, but nowadays you don't need to do that. As far back as Ubuntu 17.10, I didn't need to do that. I don't even think I needed to do that on 17.04. And 1804 is still being supported, so regardless of which distribution you're using, as long as it's a fairly recent Linux, you know, Linux kernel, I mean, as long as it's like 2017, 2018 or newer or something like that, which let's face it, all distributions are nowadays, you really shouldn't have a problem. You should not need to disable security. Don't do that. You want to keep the security enabled because it, you know, there's a reason why they call it security. It's protecting you from something. So leave it on. You don't want to disable that. And I just wanted to make sure you guys are aware of that. So anyway, um, I hope that was helpful for you guys. And if you want to keep it simple as far as docs are concerned, I, I do have affiliate links down below in the description. You can click on, these are devices that I personally have tested. I know they work on Linux and I've tested them on, on multiple computers. Now it does still depend on whether or not your hardware supports the things that I mentioned, but as far as which ones to buy, if you just wanna keep it simple, you can definitely consider buying one of those. But again, as long as you don't have display link on there, you should be fine. So. Thanks for watching guys, I hope that was helpful. Leave me your comments down below and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for checking out my video, I really appreciate it. If you found it useful, click that like button and if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe so you'll see the latest content as soon as it becomes available. If you wanna help me out, there's links down below.